In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. O oh, God, to the all of God. Be good to the God of my joy and gladness. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who has made heaven and earth. I confess, to God Almighty, blessed Mary, ever virgin, blessed Michael the Archangel, blessed John the Baptist, to the Holy Apostle Peter and Paul, all the saints and you, brethren, that have been conceivably in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my own fault, by my own most grievous fault. Wherefore I beg, blessed Mary, of a virgin, blessed Michael the Archangel, blessed John the Baptist, the Holy Apostle Peter and Paul, all the saints and your brethren, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us the most pardon, absolution, and remission of all our sins. Amen. Will thou not turn again and quicken us, O God? Thou thy people may be O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and merit thy salvation. O Lord, hear my prayer. And my prayer come unto thee. Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Drop down ye heavens from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open and bring forth a Savior. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Drop down, ye heavens, from above, and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open and bring forth a Savior. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. Every side is <clears throat> Let us pray. O Lord, praise up, we pray thee thy power and come among us. With great might succor us, that whereas through our sins and wickedness we are sore let and hindered in running the race that is set before us, thy bountiful grace and mercy may speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be of honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Let's pray. <clears throat> Almighty God, give us grace when we cast away the works of darkness, and put upon us the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life, in which thy Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty, to judge both the quick and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal. Remember thy servant, Leona, O Lord, according to the favor which thou bearest unto thy people. Grant an increasing in knowledge and love of thee, she may go from strength to strength, and the life of perfect service in thy heavenly kingdom, that she may win with thee and thy servants everywhere in the eternal victory. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, 
who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit ever. One God, robe without end. <clears throat> a lesson from the Blessed Apostle Paul's, Apostle Paul's letter to the Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Here endeth the epistle. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, even all such as call upon him faithfully. My heart shall speak the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh give thanks unto his holy name. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, O Lord, and tarry not. Forgive the misdeeds of thy people. Alleluia. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. This is the record of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And he confessed, and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Art thou Elias? And he said, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And who may give an answer to them that have sent us? What sayest thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness, Make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Isaiah. And they which were sent were of the Pharisees. And they asked him and said unto him, Why baptize thou then, if thou be not that Christ, nor Elias, neither that prophet? John answered them, saying, I baptize with water. There standeth one among you, whom ye know not. He it is who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoes latch it, I am not worthy to unloose. These things were done in Bethabara beyond Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Because of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, because of not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us men, for our salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and has his crucified also for the blessing of the Father of Christ, he suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I have now been come back to the for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb. dignity of wonder and honor, and greater wonder and honor to do the same. Be thou blessed by him, our who said, I pour forth water of life. You in Christ are Lord.
Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable unto God the Father Almighty. Amen. 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 Let us pray to the whole state of Christ's church. Almighty and ever living God, who by thy holy apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our oblations and to receive these our prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and to live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. We grace your only Father to all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, duly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who, in this transitory life, are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching you to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace so to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake our only mediator and advocate. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who now in thy mercy and faithfulness has promised a Savior to the lost race of man, to instruct the ignorant with his truth, to justify the wicked by his holiness, and to strengthen the infirm by his power. Now that the time draweth nigh that whom thou art descent should come, and the day of our deliverance shineth forth, with faith in thy promises we rejoice with holy exaltation. Therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> All glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, for the doubt thy tender mercy did give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, who suffered death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue, a perpetual memory that is precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. <clears throat> my 
guys after supper and took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this, as often as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty. With these, thy holy gift, that we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make. Having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. We most humbly beseech the merciful Father to hear us. And of thy almighty goodness, God say to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving most humbly be seeking you to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly be seeking thee, that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, that may made one body with him, that he may draw in us, and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses, through Jesus Christ our Lord. By whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> now, as our Savior Christ has commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen deliver us beseech the lord from all evils past present to come and at the intercession of the blessed glorious and ever virgin mary mother of god that of thy blessed apostles peter and paul and andrew and Aidan and all thy saints favorably grant peace in our time by the help of thy mercy, we ever be kept free from sin and safe from all disquietude. <clears throat> Through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth God, world without him. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. The Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. Amen. 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 Thou art the same Lord, and his property is always to our mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so that we eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed with his most righteous blood, and that we may have no more dwell in him, and he in us. Amen.
God, behold him, take it away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy of that just come under my roof. To be the word all me and my soul shall be you. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you're given for thee, preserve thy body and soul of the everlasting life. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you're given for thee, preserve thy body and soul of the everlasting life. Almighty and ever living God, we most heartily thank thee for the doubt of found safe to feed us, who have duly received these holy mysteries, with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And thus we share us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate in the midst of the body of thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people. We are also heirs to hope of thy everlasting kingdom by the merit of his most precious death and passion. And we only beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in the holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Who is Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. The Lord be with you. Have his nice spirit. Let us pray. <clears throat> we beseech thee, O Lord, as we have now received thy gifts, so by continually drawing near to this mystery, we may set forward the work of our salvation. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigns with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever, one God, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. We wait for thy mercy, O Lord, in the midst of thy temple, that so we may approach with due reverence the approaching festival of our redemption. Almighty God, we trust all who are dear to us in our never-failing care and love for this life and the life to come, knowing that thou art doing for them better things than we can desire and pray for. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigns with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit ever, one God, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always.